Hey guys, welcome to another episode. Today we're looking at a really interesting feature that I found on the Remarkable after having it for more than a month. And um, I noticed that not a lot of people talk about that and for me it's so far one of the best features. I've already done a few videos of the, on the Remarkable and uh, it's been my favorite thing to use over the past month. I pretty much uh, managed to, to drain the battery in less than a week. That's how much I use it. Use it to write my articles mostly. Uh, also use it to jot down um, meeting notes and stuff like that. But something that I uh, wanted to use it and I actually am unable to use it properly is uh, use it for work. Uh, because I work for a multinational company with uh, a lot of strict policies, uh, I'm not able to install software on my uh, company laptop. And uh, this has proven an issue because um, there's no way for me to install the Remarkable app. That's why I pretty much ended up uh, using a regular notepad still. But um, yesterday I found out about something that actually means that now I can use my Remarkable for company stuff as well. and. Uh, of course, I know, I'm fully aware that uh, this is a third-party cloud uh, service being provided. So in case you end up using this, uh, make sure that uh, the type of notes uh, that you sync with that, even though it has all the security that you need, at least uh, that's what they claim. It's a good idea to make sure that you're fully compliant with your uh, company's uh, digital security policies. So make sure that uh, you don't uh, jot down any sensitive information. For me, those are mostly uh, meeting notes where I have to like uh, remember to, to review something or remember to send somebody a file. Nothing sensitive that I'm gonna be jotting down on the pages here. Yeah, I just wanted to share with you how you can do that, how you can link your Remarkable to your company laptop without using the Remarkable app. It's really easy, it takes 15 seconds, and uh, honestly, I don't believe why it's not right on the box when you get this thing. Okay, let's take a look. When you have the Remarkable app on your uh, PC, you can explore all your notes, you can go through the folders, open documents to read them through. You can also export them in uh, PDF, SVG, PNG and uh, you can browse everywhere, create folders and import new documents. But if you don't have access to the app, that gets difficult. If you can't install the Remarkable app on let's say your company laptop, the only option you have is to send messages from your Remarkable with uh, file attachments to your company email. And uh, that gets a bit tedious after some time. I found this alternative if you wanna use your Remarkable with your company laptop. Just go ahead, plug it in with the USB cable, go to the menu, to settings, go to storage on the side, and here you can enable USB web interface. This would give you IP address that you can access from your internet browser. Once you go to the IP address, you'll see a pretty stripped down version of the Remarkable app where you can browse your folders and uh, you can also select files and use the download button. It's gonna export it in PDF and you can open it, print it, use it however you like. It's a bit buggy, especially when you try to export larger files. Let's say this is about 15 pages. I'm gonna click the button and uh, it's gonna take quite some time and it almost feels like um, this uh, feature was not planned to be in the, in the production development. It almost feels like this is uh, some kind of like a development feature that the team has over at Remarkable and they just decided to, why not, let's just leave it there. And you can see it opened the file. It took quite some time to, to generate and export it. And also make sure not to click on any other files while you do that because uh, a few times I had the issue where I would continue browsing uh, through my Remarkable, uh, trying to find the next file that I want to download. And then at the end, I'll just get a zero uh, file size um, PDF, which wouldn't open. Apparently you don't get all the other features of the Remarkable app, but at least uh, it's an option to get all the files that you need directly on your company laptop, much faster than just sending emails over and over again. I always make sure to disable the, the feature after that. Um, not certain if that's the case, but I'm pretty sure that it has a negative impact on battery. 
Okay guys, that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and maybe even punch the bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Till then, thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next one.